it's been a very long time since I've recorded. Um, it's been some crazy couple of months. Um, a lot of things have happened. So, um, I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. I went through a huge... I am going through a huge like change um one of the hardest things for me was moving back home and it transitioning into the adult life so i had to kind of teach myself like what it means to have like a schedule every day like wake up go to work do this do that so i had to transition into school life to adult life and that was very very hard for me because I went to school all my life I didn't have anything else like if I worked I worked on the weekends and then I do school all day every day so doing this was very hard for me um, and I'm sorry guys for not posting in so long um, if so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a clip that I had recorded um, before this a while ago. I'm going to add it and then you're going to see. Um, and then I'm going to end up here again. And then I'll show you then. So here goes. Hey guys, so I'm here. And Kevin's next to me. He told me not to mention him, but I am. Um, so here it is. So, let's open it. Oh, God. Oh, oh my God, it's so sticky. Wow. They give me a license plate. This is it. Let's see. It says, so there's a letter and it says, Dear Nicole, not only have you earned your degree from Bradley University, you finished the work under circumstances that couldn't have been foreseen when you started. The resilience you showed during spring 2020 semester will carry you through many of life's toughest situations. Don't ever forget how remarkable you are. We've enclosed a couple of gifts for you. Display the diploma holder on the shelf and it'll start conversations. As someone from a liberal arts college, you can talk about almost anything because you know how to think critically. Drive around sporting the license plate holder and you'll make even more connections with the ex extensive Bradley family. Hey, there are more than 70,000 living alumni in the world. You will meet us everywhere. We are proud of your accomplishment and excited for your future. You've joined an association of people who, for more than 120 years, have been solving problems and making a difference in the world. It's a pleasure to, it's a pleasure and an honor to have you as a part of this select group. Congratulations! Welcome to the Bradley Alumni Family. So did it not come with my thingy? My paper? I guess not. I guess it's separate, I don't know. And then it's supposed to be like mm -hmm. Where's my diploma? They forgot it. Wait, for real? Damn. Okay, so now that you've watched that, um, long story short, my diploma and my diploma holder came separately. So they didn't come in the same thing. So I didn't know that until I opened it and I realized and I was like, no, it's my diploma. So I emailed them and I was like, hey, when's my diploma getting here? Like whatever. And then like last week or two weeks ago, I received it in the mail. 
and here it is. So here's what you saw in the last video. And I'm gonna turn this camera around. Guys, this is my diploma. So, there it is. Um, honestly, I'm very proud of myself. I went through some very scary things in college. Um, I lost myself in the middle of it. I had some bad friends, not it, bad friends, toxic, toxic bad friends that I shouldn't have socialized with, associated myself with, if that's a better word, um, but I did make great friends. I'm very proud of myself. One day I'll be able to explain to you guys my college experience and like be able to be open with you guys, tell you guys about situations that I went through, but I am proud of myself. Um, I suffered. I walked into college suffering and I walked out a much better person. Um, when I walked in, I had lost, well, my dad left us and then depression, anxiety, and panic attacks and everything on a hundred. And then um, sophomore year was better, but not a hundred percent. Junior year was probably one of the worst years. And then senior year, first semester, I was starting to realize that I didn't deserve the things I was putting myself through. And then second semester senior year, I said enough was enough and I was moving on. And that's one of the best decisions I've ever made. Um, I'm so proud of myself. So yeah, um, so I'll get into like my college experience in another video, but I want to show you guys the changes I made. So I'm going to go ahead and show you. Walmart and I got this. Nine cube organizer. This was forty dollars, guys. Forty dollars for this. Not sure you guys even love it. Excuse the mess. I know I still have some work to do, but I just got it yesterday, and this is how it looks so far. Um, my diploma goes right there. Um, my calendar. Me and Kevin. Uh, some earrings that I'm gonna put away. I got this. Kevin's gonna hang up some hooks in my wall, so he left those there. Um, I have my makeup stuff in here, my laptop obviously, my Bible stuff in there, my school like like um, notebooks and paper, all of that in there, and then my pencils, my pens, all of them in there. It's actually a lot of stuff. I'm gonna show you guys, but. Literally, it's crazy. And then we have Miss Pretty Penny over here. Hey, Penny. This is her toy. This is her toy, her favorite toy to hide. I have a little kid because I have all her toys everywhere. Her favorite mouse is right there. Her One of her tunnels, that toy. And then this is her tower. And then more toys that gate oh, i have this it's messy but i'm gonna get to it so this is my room another thing that i bought is this uh, bed set it's paris theme and this cost me uh 30 dollars. so it came with the two pillowcases the um the bed like the comforter blanket the um sheets the tight, in, the tight one and then the other one and then the skirt at the bottom so that's what I came with and then what I bought with it because my back has been killing me which you guys should buy this too it really does help so I bought this sorry I'm like struggling I bought this like memory foam like mattress kind of and it like after one day of sleeping on it my back like literally stopped hurting and it's crazy like this bed was so uncomfortable so yeah so this is my bed set it's really cute so after buying all this i feel like a breath of fresh air because like i finally like kind of like how it looks it doesn't look messy it doesn't look it looks very like open and that's what i wanted and yeah so i gotta fix it up and i'll show you guys like when it's done and like being fixed up like kevin wants to do a lot like he wants to paint he wants to i have some hooks i want to hang up um i want to take down these pictures 
and like do something else with that. I want to add some lights, which I re already have the lights over there. Um, guys for sticking with me if you're watching this i really appreciate it if you're not that's okay too um if you got this far thank you for watching i'm really excited to start recording again i took a huge um break but i feel like i'm back and better than ever um yeah so yeah guys stay tuned for more i really hope that i can start being like oh start being like more um dependent like more like pretty much like there like i want to be someone that you guys expect every week and like at the beginning i was recording all the time posting all the time and now i just took a huge break but i'm ready and i'm back so yeah guys thank you so much for watching